So what makes a research project successful? In this video, we just want to give you a broad overview over what you need to focus on and what you need to do to make your research project successful. So first of all, what is research? Research can simply be defined as answering questions in a systematic way. Every research project starts with a question, a research question. It ends with an answer to the question. And the things that you do to get from question to the answer is what we call research methodology. Everything involving data collection, measuring, data analysis, everything you do to get from the question to the answer is a part of your research methodology. So that is what research is. But what do we need to focus on to make this research successful? Simply put, successful research has two major components. On the one hand, the research question must be interesting. And on the other hand, the answer must be compelling. If your research question is not interesting, then, well, nobody's going to care about your research. Even if you find an answer, nobody's going to care about it. If you have an interesting question, but your answer is not compelling, then nobody's going to do anything with your research. Nobody's going to cite your research and nobody's going to do anything based on your research and practice. So to make your research successful, you need to make sure that you have an interesting question and a compelling answer. You need to keep these two aspects in balance. Now the next question is how do you do that? How do you approach your research project in a way that makes it most likely that you will have an interesting question and a compelling answer? Here's where it very often goes wrong for people. Because very often people think that they first need to think of an interesting question. And then when they have an interesting question, the next thing they focus on exclusively is just the methodology. And then what very often happens is that they get buried in all kinds of complexities. They get buried in problems related to sampling, statistics, validity, research design, measurement reliability. All kinds of complexities related to research methodology and related to finding an answer to the question they formulated at the beginning. A lot of these complexities can be completely avoided by just phrasing your research question in a smart way. Develop your research question and your method in parallel. So don't think of it as first developing your question and then developing your method to answer the question, but develop both at the same time. Rather than thinking of a research project as a linear process, where you start with a question and end with the answer, we encourage you to think of it as more of a circular process where you first think a little bit about your research question. And then when you have a question that could be interesting, you can think a little bit about methodology and can already answer that question. If you think, yeah, I can probably answer it and dive a little bit more into the research literature. Is this question really interesting? Does it connect well with the existing literature? If it seems to connect at first sight, you can go back to your methodology and you can dive a little bit deeper. How would you measure your variables? How would you collect your data? Could you analyze the data? and so on and so on. And throughout the entire research project, we're going to adjust both the question and your methodology to answer the question until you have an interesting question with a compelling answer. Okay, so the key lessons of this video are that there are two goals of a research project. The first goal is to formulate an interesting research question. And the second goal is to design your research such that you can give a compelling answer. And the way to do this is to develop and balance these two points in parallel by going back and forth between your research question and your methodology to answer the question. Okay, so that was a very high-level overview of a research project and how to approach it. And in the next video, we're going to have a closer look at what makes a research question interesting. I see you in the next video.